All right, in this video, we are going to look at where we're at in the snap meta, sort of a top 10 type deck, analyze where things are. I want to pay a special attention to where and when or if Grandmaster shows up a little bit. I think I already know. I've already shared this in multiple videos, but I'm going to do it regardless. So we're going to look at a few different platforms as always. I love getting a variety of thoughts on these. You never know. They're all using different trackers, etc. So if we get a wide range, it might give us somewhat of a better idea. So we're going to start with untapped.gg. I believe this to be the most widely used tracker out there. And we're going to start with the last 30 days, 3000 plus collection level, and it's going to be on rank. We're going to do player rank 90 to 100 plus. And right now we're doing average queue for 400 plus games. You could go lower or higher, but this dramatically changes. You know, I think 400 for right now is going to be okay. We could also tighten this up to, well, I guess it depends when you do it as far as latest patch. I'd love to see that time range adjusted a little bit where you could also maybe do less 10 days, less 15 days or something like that. What we've got to start here, and again, average cubes. We've got Thanos. So even with the uh, change, the blob, he's still out there again, though. This is the last 30 days, so that might be sort of lingering along that. Uh, you've got all the traditional sort of decent size cards. Now, the thing that's a little weird is we've got Claw on this Thanos. I don't know. I mean, I guess because of the Professor X. If I was personally going to play uh, a Thanos deck, I wouldn't rule this way. I'd probably rule bigger and probably look for the Kyra type setup. But that's just me personally. Uh, and then so that way, if you roll up things into Blob, you've got higher cards. Because imagine, I mean, I guess it's at this point, it's just, you know, a limited amount. So you're going to cap out. But I still want to try to have that cap be as high as possible. So this is a little bit of a mix between some Lockdown, some Legion. This is very interesting to me. I have to say, I still haven't seen Legion in a long time. So we'll go from there. Now, Phoenix also very surprising to be up here. We've got a Phoenix Kang. Like, okay, who's using Kang? Like, this is literally the top, the second deck really 400 games and it's got a 0.68 average cube all right but you know what because of the venom the multiple man phoenix deadpool i could uh, doctor strange moving stuff it's like an interesting mixed deck the taskmaster to me is a little sort of i don't know i mean maybe i guess if you're playing with the deadpool a lot you get a big and then you taskmaster that on turn six i could see it maybe with the king you could play around some i don't know i can't say i'd promote that per se to be used a lot black knight now i will say because of a drew Barry deck uh with black knight i've been playing that card a little bit more it's not as terrible as i originally liked i think the blade with it being able to discard that right side is earthquakes uh very very convenient very nice it find you find yourself being able to do that decently often the ghost rider to me is critical so that way if for some reason you're unable to play out that black knight transition that you can go ahead and do the ghost rider it's on a certain occasion that sometimes you might not be able to get the card you want but I think generally speaking still works again an interesting mix with sarah miss marvel i'm kind of like oh what are we doing there's a lot of interesting stuff we got jeff in here just because he's a great card i guess uh the zabu to help get miss marvel shang chi or ghost rider cheaper see it you're never going to play the infinite ever ever you're more than likely not looking to play magneto on six either those two cards are in this deck for discarding or bringing back with the ghost rider uh slash ebony blade when i play the black knight type deck i do have a lot more higher cards i've got scar in that deck i try to play along with something like that thanos lockjaw now i've been playing a boatload of this and it's actually almost this exact same deck to be honest with you i don't have wave in mind i don't have vision in mind uh but it's it's very similar so i have kingpin in mind to sort of do some manipulation I have to admit I don't use it that much, but this one's got a 0.56, not too bad. I want to change to go to Conquest here because some of these decks, I'm just kind of like, mm, all right, uh, I don't know if I'm, I think the last 30 days mark might start getting a little wonky. Let's see, we're going to do last 30 days, and not that it matters that much. Uh, let's see, can we do, yeah, let's do gold tier, battle count, do win rate, and then how much, let's see, well, let's do 500 battles. All right, so we're going to look at win rate here. I think this is the part that is really going to sort of, as far as, untapped.gg goes because people are going to start really focusing on their conquest the better players are going to start looking at conquest to try to decide what decks are really progressing them destroy now this is really what i'd say the theme of right now is i see a lot of destroy and I see a lot of blob slash living tribunal. These to me are not surprisingly at the top of this list. You get a lot of big strong cards. You play them around as far as the blob and living tribunal goes. You've got giganto infinite. I typically also like to play that with 
my lockjaw to try to get bigger things on the board so that way at some point you can make sure that you spread your power out or get a lot of power wave does help with that but i think maybe you take out the electro the armor the sunspot the vision and you look at maybe a kyra a lockjaw and sort of spread things out from there that'd be my personal uh pref but uh, i think regardless both of these two decks are definitely what you're seeing used a lot i'm seeing a lot more killmonger right lately surprisingly so because of kyra so maybe she's fallen off a little bit and if killmonger starts peeking his head out uh, a little bit more you're going to want to look there null is a very strong card also works with blob apparently i saw some tweets about this where blob eats null and you've destroyed some stuff might be something to look at and there's ways to build up deadpool here with forge uh nico etc but like those two the next two they've got on here are lockdown and again destroy the next two is lockdown darkhawk the lockdown here Eliath. i'm not seeing as much Eliath. quake i have seen a boatload of quake i think the change to her has been absolutely fantastic i love it it's something that you can get some nice high cubes out of and i think the fact that it's getting 61 percent win rate is uh in conquest is awesome we've already talked about destroy i'm not gonna belabor on that one i do want to talk about dark hawk a little bit and uh there is some more thanos lock jaws that maybe we'll touch before we jump over to our friends at marvel snap zone dark hawk i am seeing quite a bit about now there's been stuff with some again and we haven't seen grandmaster one time yet just fyi so this is the type of deck that you might use grandmaster on though with the korg the black widow the rock slide even the shang chi uh, i think that's a solid use of grandmaster additionally it, depending on how you're playing you could even if you pull out doom early and maybe you grandmaster that that's a good way to get some power uh throughout the board for pretty cheap the miss marvel i think she's still solid but a little bit harder to play and you don't you're definitely not seeing her as much i think that the, with the two additional cards and the one slide power it's crazy because you still get plus five but you're just not seeing it as much all right so the last ones here they do have and there's three of them in a row is the thanos lockjaw and look you pick what version of this you want to play uh, again, I've got some of the. I actually don't have Jeff in mind, surprisingly so. I don't have Wave. It's a mixture of, I, I'm, I guess I'm more like this, but I don't use Leech. Uh, for me, I'd, I, Leech isn't bad if you pull it through the Lockjaw, but if you don't, if uh, I don't like playing Leech on five, unless uh, somebody has really just sort of waited for that turn to play. So I think culmination of untap.gg, destroy i think uh they also got some blob slash thanos lockjaw type thing dark hawk is still semi out there but it's not necessarily dominating all right so now let's go check out what we got our friends from marvel snap zone all right so in marvel snap zone we're gonna do they have a little bit more filters here uh last patch la latest ota seven days two days i think that's phenomenal i wish uh some other sites did that i think it's super super great Collection level, we've done 3,500 plus right now. Let's not do meta share. Let's do just win rate for the time being. Uh, and we are doing the the meta best decks and stats. We're not going to switch over to Conquest quite yet. So uh, Kazoo Agatha, this is hilarious. So this immediately, as soon as I look at this go, okay, like that's clearly, no, just no. Uh, it's a very low meta rate. Leech Hawk, we talked about that a little bit. Is Grandmaster on this one? This is, again, another one that you could play with Grandmaster here. You move master mold around a little bit that's sort of fun i one recommendation i'd have for you if you stuck around this long please consider hammering down that like button comment below some of these decks uh this tidbit i'm saved for you if you aren't aware of it master mold and grandmaster on turn four is not necessarily the greatest i would use maybe master mold and then save grandmaster for a turn later you very very atypically are able to give somebody four sentinels in one turn because they've either got their hands full enough where it doesn't give them all um or you only give them one to three so it's i mean if you give them three that's not so bad but typically you'll be lucky to even give them two so uh because a lot of times they might be saving etc so it depends given the current meta but i do like this i like the mystique in here uh the ronin is fantastic uh th this type of thing can be a lot of fun i personally ditched the leech shuri sauron uh you know look i this has been a traditionally great deck i could see it now, I always highly recommend using this. I think people aren't using it right now just because of a lot of the other things are going on. The meta share on this is 3.76. It's not bad. Selene Galactus is interesting. I've heard some people talking about this. I love the Ravana play. So you can get some of these negative cards cheaper earlier. You play them on the lane you think you're going to play Galactus on, and it becomes very, very easy to win that lane. I might start playing some more Galactus just for fun uh, because I do need to change it up a little bit. I feel like. A lot of this just consistent lock jaw big cards thing i'm like i just need to change a pace so i could do it for that reason alone uh, again i'm not buying what's going on over here so i'm going to stop on this one i actually want to see let's see let's do 
80 to 99. Let's see what everybody's fighting to get to infinite this late in the game. This could be for you. So that way you can find ways to counter some of this. Uh, Knight uh, Annihilus. So Black Knight with Annihilus. I can't say, I mean, it's not bad if you get the Sentry, I guess, as far as, where's my discard? Okay, this is just weird. Uh, I don't, uh, Marvel Snaps, what's going on with your database here? This is, okay, yeah, we're not even looking at that one. Ronan Selene, uh, let's look at this. All right, so again, very, somewhat similar to what we had before, but now we've got Ronan instead of uh, a Galactus thing. Now, the only thing you're doing to sort of fill up for Ronan is what? Selene, you give a negative, you know version of a card that they might not want to play the black widow helps keep things there i would potentially look at if i'm having ronin you know i'm looking at something where i'm going i i want to give this person more cards i actually don't like this deck either it, this I i'm a little worried about my friends here uh some of the data that they've got coming here maybe let's you know what, let's not do win rate I mean, let's try average cubes see what we get a little bit better if we get a little it's still on us look at this black this black knight version is good this knight Annihilus thing comment below if you think something they're solid but I'm, I'm just not seeing it the black knight we talked about this earlier it's a great great setup though if i've got black bolt i'm gonna look at having stature so i would probably change that uh the hella back uh, i'd say backup plan and to be honest with you maybe i want to make sure that i'm getting this, this some of these big cards discarded for sure though uh ronin sling we talked about that earlier don't like that deck leech hawk we talked about that earlier sling galactus I guess maybe let's go look uh, uh I, again i think this deck right now would be fun uh and then some of these other ones but right now honestly if i'm gonna be looking at stuff i'm gonna go over i hate to say this about my friends over at uh marvel snaps on but this data right now um i think is i mean again i would look at maybe let's look at the conquest meta let's see what look at that uh, what that's looking like and we've got gold to infinite meta share we're not going to do that let's do win rate uh so that way we know which way and then that way it's about you snapping okay because win rates more about the snap uh or the the cubes per game and all that you could have somebody who's just snapping like an idiot or whatever and it could mess it up so let's look at the win rate discard hella that's uh again a solid solid thing uh sometimes i wondered if grandmaster could be in that and again remember i we have seen no grandmaster on this again leech hawk a great deck to use potentially with grandmaster uh i don't know it says leech is crucial I guess maybe uh i don't know i mean i don't know why would you want to leech something uh if it's a you know sentinel and you've got ronin that's counterintuitive i don't know if i'd do that knight hella again another uh, black knight deck with hella uh, i don't know if i love that with lockjaw because all of a sudden you pull in hella before you want to that could be pretty dangerous i don't know if i love that idea i'd maybe think about something different scar high it's high evo scar you know i, I could see this being pretty solid uh, I played a really good game against somebody um, with very bad BMing at the end, but they they played uh, a real on turn. They extended it with magic, only played uh, Misty Knight on the last turn, it's, uh, soaked up everything with Sunspot Middle, and won by one point because the Misty Knight hit the middle lane. I had easily won the left hand lane 25 nothing. The middle lane was somewhat contested. I played Magneto on it, thinking that 12 would be. And they could only put one car or actually they couldn't put any cards there so but they had a cyclops there which the cyclops with the sunspot and the misty knight were enough to give them a enough points and bring points down for me in that middle lane to give them a one point victory there so it was a really impressive play uh bming out uh, aside so anyway i think that deck's pretty good so to finish things this thing off let's see where grandmaster falls on snap.fan's list of cards all right on snap.fan we got last 30 days game scene uh i just wanted to kind of swirl down here and just to see if it's in the top 10 so we're not getting a lot of games on it right so let's check win percentages on win drawn all right i just again we're starting at the top is it going to be there we're not seeing it right okay again 60 to 57 not showing up what about when played because that's maybe when matters a little bit more all right are we seeing it no we're not seeing it so what we're going to do let's do win drawn win percentage find the grandmaster good lord good lord top bottom one two three four five bottom five cards of all cards that's pretty bad pretty bad i'm not gonna say more than that i've already felt it's got negative average cubes across the board i hear people saying well you know you need to know how to play it etc yes that is true generally speaking though 
you can't pitch a card as a good card to the mass public if it, it is a fine fine night set of people who can play it properly yes it's a good card if you know how to use it but for a game like marvel snap that's a two three minute game yes it has a semi-competitive it's a competitive uh scene but you know those people are going to be able to play cards like this not everybody will so that's what i'm going to put out with my content as somebody who's sort of looking to say well you know i might not be the lambies of the world but you know i need to know if i can play this card or not it's fine it's okay if you're good if not don't mess with it so that's all i got for this video i appreciate you guys making it by let me know what your favorite decks are in the comments below and until next time we hope you have a wonderful day